Good morning, Britain. The latest on the London Tower Block fire, the desperate search for survivors, many still unaccounted for following the devastating blaze that ripped through Grenfell Tower in West London. I've got my mum missing. My mum, my sister, her daughters and her husband. They're all still in the building. Twelve people are known to have died, but there are fears scores more were killed in the inferno that destroyed homes in a matter of minutes. This morning, fires are still burning on the higher floors. Homeless but alive, dozens of families forced to spend the night in emergency accommodation as kind-hearted strangers open their doors with generous offers of food and clothing. I've never witnessed something like this. It's actually really upset and really sad, and you've got to do what you can, the best to, to help out. What was to blame? Were safety warnings ignored? This morning we'll examine the cause of the fire and the risk to the thousands of other tower blocks across the country. Thursday, 15th of June, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Susanna Reid. Our main news at just after 7 o'clock, many people still unaccounted for after the devastating fire which engulfed a tower block in West London. Twelve people are confirmed to have died. Police do warn that that number is expected to rise. A huge relief effort has swung into action with charity workers and volunteers providing aid for those affected. Our chief correspondent Richard Gaysford is at the scene for us this morning. And Richard, we understand the firefighters have been working through the night. That's right, Ben. Flames have been spotted through the night, more than 24 hours after that fire first started inside Grenfell Tower. And if you take a look at it with the sun shining bright behind it this morning, you can 